Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today we are finally making one of the most ridiculous cars I have ever made in Roblox. And trust me, that's saying something. We have built some absolutely ridiculous vehicles over the years. Some of them that you guys know very well like the boost trucks and even a drift bus. We have built some crazy stuff but today I think is going to top everything. This is probably one of the coolest cars and it's one of the cars everybody kind of knows of because of like Forza and stuff like that. This is this is a very well known car but let me tell you they have some cool features in this game. Okay so if you go into the limited vehicles we have five of them right and now one of them you can't buy anymore. This was like an exclusive limited production but we do have the mighty midget. The 1964 PLP 50. This thing is going to be a lot of fun. We can do lots and lots of stuff let's explode it first which uh yeah it doesn't do much unfortunately but most importantly let's start this thing up and hear this monster of an engine and there we go the lawnmower is ready we can get this thing moving i'm excited guys let's take it out and see what it can do and one of the things that i actually forgot to do that you guys mentioned is because this is a brand new dealership um first of all it looks absolutely amazing but we can go out the back and there's actually customization here I'm not sure if it's here or if it's oh it's over here it's definitely over here yeah you can actually modify your car here now you don't have to go all the way to the other uh, to the other customization shop it still works but yeah not necessary here we go dude the POP 50 we barely fit inside this thing let me know in the comments would you actually drive one of these if somebody let you or would you be afraid of like crashing or something personally I would probably drive this thing <laughs> if someone gave me the chance I honestly would probably drive it and okay wait hold on we might not actually be able to fit in here let me see this one more time oh gosh okay wait does this not work oh here we go okay now we got it working okay so let's get this thing started we're gonna go to appearance, we're gonna go to rims. Let's get some different rims on this bad boy. Uh, I'm thinking, I wanna make this the most ridiculous car I've ever owned, so we need the most ridiculous wheels I've ever bought. So let's get that. All right, check it out guys, we got the red on red. <laughs> Not bad, we have to do red. I don't know why, the PLP 50, it just looks good in red. And now, the main thing I wanted to show you, the body kits. Here we go, it is the I am speed body kit for 69,000. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just purchase it. Who cares what it looks like? Here we go. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay. Not gonna lie. I didn't know what my expectations should have been, but this is far exceeding what I thought. This thing looks ridiculous in all of the best ways. This is insane. And I love every bit of it. Okay, here we go. Let's get out of this. Let's go to interior. Sure, let's make a red interior. That, that makes sense, right? Yeah. Of course, we need to make the license plate speedy because we are not a slow car anymore. Well, hopefully anyways. Um, let's do a different license plate. There we go. Next up is the performance. Because we look fast, we have to actually be fast. We're going to get 24% more torque with the new drag engine suspension. Oh, wait a second. Can I actually lower this thing? Oh, dude okay <laughs> that looks freaking awesome okay i'm gonna lower it completely let's camber it out this thing is insane okay offset yes let's go <laughs> tons of offsets how do you even do rear offset i only have one rear wheel i don't know how this thing's gonna drive it it's probably gonna be terrible but you know what that's fine let's get some supercharging onto this thing let's go to brakes literally 40 dollars for racing brakes that's not a bad price 50 dollars for tires Wow, okay, rear wheel drive, yes. And let's get some premium boost. Guys, guys, this is the most ridiculous car in any Roblox racing game. Okay, here we go. And of course, it is in one of the best racing games. Check it out, guys. <laughs> let's see what this thing can do. <laughs> this guy says clean. <laughs> Dang straight, man. This is clean. <laughs> what would you do if this rolled up to a local car meet, man? Like, I would need to talk to the owner of the car, all right? There's just no way I'd look at that and not wonder about it. Okay, we got a lot of people joining us for a drag race, even some people on motorcycles, which is kind of cool. We've got an Aventador, we've got a Honda Accord, basically everything under the sun and a body kit PLP 50. <laughs> Literally every car you could ever ask for is here today, guys. Here we go. 
Um, did I not get in? Ah, oh, no, not this one. Okay, maybe the next one. Oh, we've even got a gold Bugatti. And what is that? A McLaren MP412C, an Apollo. Okay, we've got everything, guys. This is gonna be fun. Let's get this race going. By the way, big shout outs to everybody here. Some people have been saying they've been watching in the Vehicle Simulator Prime days. Shout outs to you guys. That's uh, That's been a while. Also, look at the drag strip. I think they just added in these uh, drag decals to show like, you know, people obviously launching and burning rubber here. All right, I'm versing a motorcycle. First ever race, here we go. Wow, okay. Oh God, what the heck just happened? Okay, I, I just spun out a little bit. What just happened? <laughs> okay, so um, it's fast. The car is definitely fast, but it lacks in control. At a certain speed, we just lose complete traction. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay, we gotta fix this thing because clearly it's fast, but we have zero control and that's probably due to the rear wheel being that way. So lesson learned, the POP50 is insanely fast. I'm actually incredibly shocked about that, but we do need to do some modifications to make this thing handle a little bit better. Right now, it's just not working. <laughs> I have to blame myself, I wanted to make this car ridiculous and I did accomplish that, but one of the things we need to fix is the rear camber. We can't have any rear camber, this thing needs to be as straight as an arrow basically. And rear offset, not a good idea, we should probably keep this right in the center like that. <laughs> that would probably help quite a lot. As far as front camber, I think we're okay, I'm just gonna change the offset a little bit. All right, um, this should actually do a lot better. Let's see how we do. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick little test run before we actually do this race, just to see how this actually holds up in uh, the, the top speeds. Yeah, it still completely breaks traction. Okay, how can we fix that? That is our current issue. So as we go, the problem is once the boost kicks in, we lose full traction over the car. Something strange is happening. Basically what happens is once we pick up speed, all of a sudden, it breaks traction and we lose all of our speed. What is going on? Okay, I have a plan. So here's what we're gonna do. This time around, I'm going to try to uh, show you a technique I think I've kind of figured out here. We can't just full send it. We have to send it, stop a little, and send it again. L let me show you what I mean, okay? Here we go. Let's see if this actually works. We gotta go like this, let it go, again, let it go, Again, okay, it, it's kind of working. It's sl it's it's very painful, but it's working. Okay. Oh no, we just lost to a BMW. Oh, oh, that's not good. <laughs> okay. Um. So this car is very very fast, but it does not handle at at all. Like literally at all. That was basically my best run, and it still wasn't holding up very well. So the PLP50, pretty much fun, ridiculous, crazy, every other word that I could come up with, um, but it isn't fast. No matter what you do, for whatever reason, at a certain speed, this happens. And it's hard to manage, it's hard to control, but overall, still one of the coolest cars added in the recent update. So if you guys want to see more videos of Driving Empire, leave this one a big thumbs up. I had a ton of fun with this car. Buy it for yourself, it's limited, it's like $500, so literally costs nothing. Get it for yourselves guys, it's totally worth it, and I'll see you all in the next video.